I have an hourglass with me. Um, I love hourglasses. I've collected them since I was maybe 16. And I think it's, um, it's a very, uh, you know, a very fitting symbol of my uh, editorial job. So an editorial job is really fast-paced. You know, it's deadlines after deadlines, which is good. It's, you know, it's, it's exciting. I've always wanted to be a scientist as, as a kid. I came to the K11 thinking I was going to stay for four years and I ended up staying for 12. Doing a PhD is really all about learning to be a scientist. A PhD teaches you critical thinking skills. Even when everything fails and you don't think you're learning, you're still learning. You're learning every day. And you learn about resilience and you learn about thinking outside of the box. And those are really important skills that you get to carry for the rest of your life. After I finished my PhD, I wanted to continue in academia. And so I, I stayed at TK11 and I pursued a postdoc in neurosciences, actually for seven years. I liked academia and I was a bit scared that if I left academia, I would regret it and not be able to go back. So I wasn't quite sure what to do. And I applied for a second postdoc to give me a little time still to figure out where I really wanted. And it was during that time that I really realized that my interests were so broad that I guess I would never be completely fulfilled in an academic position because I like too many things. But I've always kept really an open mind. I went to career talks. You know, I just liked to understand what was out there and keep that big picture about scientific careers, which go way beyond academia. Then I really started actively looking around. And I saw a position open for an editor at Cell. And Cell, of course, as a journal, has a great reputation. I didn't know much about what being an editor entailed, but I applied. Yeah, I think the, the move into publishing was in a way to satisfy that thirst for learning something new every day. I used the skills I acquired during my academic training in my editorial job every day. But of course, it goes beyond that. As an editor, you really have to be very broad and to have the big picture of research. I had to learn how to have that big picture and to look at research in different ways. As an editor, I had to learn how to actively listen to people, um, how to sit down with an author for sometimes one hour and really extract the important bits from the whole chat. And those skills come with time. But being an editor was very different from being a researcher. I still got to go to conferences. In fact, I went to, or I still go to, uh, in fact, I travel more now as an editor than I ever did in, uh, in academia. But the exposure is different because you have to uh, approach researchers. You have to convince them to submit their best work to your journal. There was a good opportunity for me to go more into the clinical medicine area. So I applied for a position at the Lancet Group, first as the launch editor of a journal called eClinical Medicine, which is an open access journal published by the Lancet. And I accepted that position. And then nine months later, I was offered the position of the editor of the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology, which is my current position. Being the editor of the Lancet Diabetes and Endocrinology is a position of responsibility, but it's also a joy. 
there's this saying about publish or perish and well it makes me a little bit sad it made me sad when i was in academia and it makes me sad now as an editor researchers are very very pressured to publish and and i understand that and as such i feel that i do have that responsibility of help them publish um, but all is for the right reasons. One of the current challenges in my job nowadays, it's really about timing, and that's why I brought this one. So it's hard work, but so long you enjoy it, it's okay. Hard work is so important, and it really is the combination of being creative and a hard worker that will open lots of doors for you. Go there and meet people. Go to conferences and don't be shy. Interact with people. You never know when someone will invite you to visit your lab or to give a talk or even offer you a job. Plan your next move and have a strategy. It's about chess, not checkers.